His name is Richard Stephenson from Westmoreland, Jamaica. You know him as Richie Stevens. Maybe the idol that you guys look up to or your ambassador. It's a shame that one of your ambassadors that was supposed to spread Jamaican culture during the tour that I was on has committed such a heinous act and have shown no regret. I'm saying this story not just for myself but the many many survivors who've had to either stay silent about what happened to them who never reported so it's jam or go answer people my back again with another video and you know this is a serious it's a minute i'm gonna say it is a source but me need for showing her and me need for telling her so after tanya stephen came out sometime last week and she said someone um violated her certain way and it is a dancehall artist and it's somebody that is really um well respected and loved in the music industry um she never called nobody name but we hoping that she will soon in the meantime people this chinese lady here she came out um yesterday and she posted a video on her youtube channel claiming that a jamaican artist violated her in a certain way you know it's the r a word we can't really call out the word because you know youtube not really up with them something but i don't know what i mean and mega put it in the description and people she said this happened to her from november 2019 also she said she filed a report to the police and now you know 2021 and a lot of people are gonna say why she just attack and a lot of people are gonna say your yeah, lies she a tell just like what we see happen with tanya a few days ago she came out and talked about what happened to her she never opened us open up to us like that before and some people bash her some people say she looks to be relevant some people say um she 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 mad and some people say a lot of things and um based on what me see out of nine out of ten it come like you know most jamaicans say one seven percent out of the ten would have support her but you have some people still a bash her and still a support the person who violate her anyway some people in the music industry them give them little tip tip and a drop them little tip tip we still a watch what go on because you know people we are gonna come say it to uno well, let's go back to this lady now she's from singapore and she's a chinese and she also worked with richie stevens in the past and now she come out in 2021 and you know 2021 almost done and she has said as i said before him do this to her in a november 2019 and she just had get the courage to come talk about that um october 1st she posted um she posted this this on her on her youtube channel and i'm going to put the link below so you guys can go there and you know show her some love and support now people me not gonna say me believe her me not gonna say me not believe her and you know my responsibility of giving her the information not to judge people and people more on the farm on the own opinions upon this but before me show on the full video with her where she has said on a listening and you know on a give on a take we have to discuss this some more um i've seen on richie steven website i don't know i went back there and i've seen the post i don't know if it archive or he deleted it he's denying claim and what she's saying he did to her and a lot of people kind of support him and i say uh, because him fire her because she used to work for him him fire her why she vex from them time there until now why she try to build something around him and i try scandal him in the media and to me it seems like she not him not come out and like you know even on his instagram or any one of his platform he's just writing or asking somebody to write someone on his website we like to we wish to hear from him some more and this matter because i um, a woman not a not 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 a jamaican woman a chinese woman after so ironically accidentally after tanya steven come out and say what a jamaican artist did to her this lady come out and has call up the jamaican artist name so some people are speculate if this is the same artist that did the thing to 
Tanya Steven, you know, the are red people. We have it in the description. So you know what we mean. Cause we can't really talk them already upon YouTube. Because you know them are gonna delete the video. And you're not gonna get the information. So only work with me and understand what I go on and the roots over here. With that being said, now people. This lady is clearly broken. And she got talk about her experience. And she got telling you how she live and how she feel about the ordeal. And we wish to support her and we are sending some support and some love to her people are say a lie people say a money she a look and some serious comments even under her post on her youtube channel people say a money she a look people are say she look broke of course when people come out and talk things like that them always attack the victims i don't know why and i quote people may just I say victim because she alleged that Richie Steven do some things to her so it's not been proven that a true or you know a lie so in the meantime people make we just go and say victim because she is accusing him of the RA word and we know so that's a serious thing and people are gonna say because she said Tanya Steven come out and attack our people are gonna say because of this or because of that but we also have to show some respect and some appreciation to Tanya Steven because a lot of people a lot of women things like this happen to and they never have the courage to talk so no you know Ta Tanya Steven as a Jamaican artist you know somebody we're highly respected in the music industry she uh, she you know a bill a platform and I put some security and surety in a some woman where this am to and them afraid to come out and talk and them not brave enough to come out and talk so Tanya Stephen I draw them out now and we wish people come talk about it and of course like how she come and call Richie Stephen name and I say Richie Stephen do this to her when them did the pan tour would I like Tanya come out and call a person name even though and that we see Jamaican people a bash her for like them want to see a lie she a tell because she not call nobody name. Them a say she a look a cloud. Them a she a say she, she, she pop down in her music. She trying to be relevant and all sort of something. Anyway, people, enough of me and enough of everything. Me are going to make you hear what this Chinese lady has said and people who can form who own opinions on the matter. Like me say, who just keep the comments respectful over here on YouTube and wherever. Because I don't want YouTube to delete the comments. And people, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up so YouTube can share this information with other people like herself. And people, if you like the channel... And I'm, th I'm thanking you guys for keep on to support me. As you can see, people, the channel I grow really fast. So that means that you're interested in what me I show you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. So when we come back with more updates, you definitely going to see it. And people, if you're not there on my Instagram yet, or you know the over with Facebook, let's put in the sus jump on them two platforms. And you're going to see all of the pages them fly up. Because you know say we are alone here. So. In the meantime, in the meantime, people, who no just go and watch that video here on the farm on the own opinions on this. Have a good evening. Hi everybody. My name is Eileen Lim. I am from Singapore. We're saw in Asia. I'm Chinese. I am a beatboxer. I am a arts educator. I'm a content creator. And I am a survivor. This is my account of what happened on the 12th and 13th of November in 2019 in Melbourne, Australia. Roughly six days after my 27th birthday. Before I start, I'd like you to understand that the reason for me getting this video out is because of the following reasons. One, I want the truth to be known and I want whatever that was done to me to be known by who and what was done. I also want to tell the other 
survivors out there who may be watching this video that it's okay to hold your pup accountable. The pup in question and a formal police report was actually launched right after the incident. Immediately after the incident, I did a rape kit. I made a police report. If it happened in Singapore, I'm sure he wouldn't have been able to walk away after he initially got called into the police station. The pub in question, his name is Richard Stephenson from Westmoreland, Jamaica. You know him as Richie Stevens. Maybe the idol that you guys look up to or your ambassador. It's a shame that one of your ambassadors that was supposed to spread Jamaican culture during the tour that I was on has committed such a heinous act and have shown no regret. I'm saying this story not just for myself but the many many survivors who've had to either stay silent about what happened to them, who never reported, or who still lives with their pub, or walk around. This is a man that preaches religion. Seems like a decent man. A man that both me and the artist on tour that I was on tour with, trusted. There are some facts that I would like to be clear. First of all, no consent was given. I am speaking English right now. So if you want to talk about there's a language barrier, I'm sure no is a universal word. No was verbally spoken and blatantly ignored. I did not go into a hotel with him for those people who have heard several versions of the story. We were staying together in an Airbnb with different rooms. We had a common living space, but that was it. There are no relationships between me. In fact, I called him uncle because the first time he came into Singapore, he tried to stick his tongue down my throat. And I came from a very sheltered place. In Singapore, we don't have a lot of crime of the extent that other people or other countries might face. So I lived a very sheltered life. Initially, when he did that to me, all I did was I just closed my mouth, didn't allow it, but at the same time, as Asians, we are taught to respect our guests. The only thing I asked my friend at that point of time was, is this a Jamaican culture? Is this a Jamaican way of greeting? And that's when I said, that's when she said, no. This is the behavior that he is doing when he's flying that flag of Jamaican up high. Claiming to represent your country, claiming to represent your culture, but this is actually what he's doing. I was on tour, called the Jamaican Flavor Tour, with my friend, who I was doing a behind the scenes for, and managing several aspects of the tour. We made sure that the 
Singapore side was covered, some of the Malaysia side was covered. The tour was planned by her. So, whatever rumour there was that said that we were Chinese girls who only wanted money, look me in the eye now and tell me that I'm lying. Tell me that we needed money. In fact, ask any survivor, do you think the money can ever repay what was taken and what was lost? As much as I hate to say the word, Richie Stevens is the man that raped me. When my friend left for a studio and I stayed behind to do my work, I stayed behind to edit a music video that I was behind on. And we trusted him enough that no funny business was gonna be tried when I was left alone with him. This is not the truth. He did take advantage of the fact that I was alone with him. During which he was having phone calls and he was talking about his mother how she had a surgery and he was worried for her. He got so visibly upset, he asked for a hug. I was like, okay, hug, fine. I agreed to a hug. But what I didn't agree after that was how he ignored my pleas to stop when he went further when he tried to lie on my tummy when he tried to hold me down when every single time I said no I'm not comfortable stop he said just relax this happened in 2019 we are at 2021 and I still remember every single aspect of what had happened. Do you think for a survivor is so easy? It just stops there? How many times of therapy I had to go through? The relationships that I've lost. I was a shell of myself. When I went to the counsellor in Melbourne, her voice sounded so far away. I was disassociated. But yet I remember every single thing. Can you imagine how that feels like? He did it not once. First he started to tuck his finger, during which I panicked. And I said, I need to go to the toilet. I need to go. What the hell is this? No. He proceeded to try more. And then he penetrated me. And it happened for three times during which there was nothing I could do. He's a way bigger guy than me. Deep in my heart, the only thing that I wish at a point of time, because I realized that I couldn't fight back, was just wishing 
that my friend will come back. After I reported to the police, we left the apartment. I thought that this nightmare was just stopped there. It didn't. Because the next thing he went is he went to the media of Jamaica and said that the allegations were not true. But let me remind you this. If you go onto my Facebook, the only thing that I said was that I was sexually assaulted. I didn't name him. My friend said that she was going to pull herself off the tour because of the sexual assault. She also didn't name him. Yet, on the Jamaica media, if you search, Jamaican artists rape Australia. Right there. There was zero consideration of the fact that he just did that to me. With no remorse whatsoever. When visibly, I said no. Verbally, I said no. Stop it. You're hurting me. Ignored. Blatantly ignored. Yet he can pretend that everything was okay when my friend came back. I was shell-shocked. Sitting at the computer. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. Before that, he has tried to kiss me, as mentioned. During the Indonesia leg of the trip, he did also attempt, and I pushed him away, I said no. During then, he respected my boundaries. But this one, zero respect for boundaries. Blatant ignoring. Oh no. No is a freaking universal word. Two letters, no. I think that's pretty clear. So yeah, you did that to me. It has changed entirely my life because I lost, not just a part of myself, I lost myself. I didn't know who I was anymore. You don't feel like there's an identity of anymore? You're caught in a constant trauma. You're caught in a constant reminder. Yet, here you are, saving your skin on the media, saying that the allegations are not true. What allegations? We didn't call you. You called yourself out. What allegations, pray tell? If you have heart, then you should be upfront, admit your mistake, and tell people what you've done. Not hide behind like a coward. Not run to the media immediately and spread false news. Journalists, isn't it your duty to actually fact check before you report? All the things I've spoken here are facts. They were in the police report. They were publicly shared. If you want to look for it, it's there. There's always this saying that 
I keep hearing, oh, he has a family, so he can't be a perp. And this is precisely why there's so many of such cases. Isn't it scary? The thought that the person next to you might be a perp, a hidden perp and you don't know it? I don't trust justice by criminal law because in Australia, it is innocent until proven guilty. In Singapore, however, it is guilty until proven innocent. I don't know how it is in Jamaica. But I want to get this story out there. Get my story out there. How it has affected me. How it has made me to not even recognize myself. For one and a half years, I was living in a dream where I don't exist. Where everything was reactionary. Where I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I didn't want to shower. People couldn't touch me. I had to watch cartoons. I could only watch cartoons because the rest of things was so triggering. And let me tell you this, so many times, I thought about killing myself because I didn't know how it was going to work. I prayed for justice. I was a believer in justice. I believed in the police. But then I learned that the laws are here to protect the public. Still the power is with the people. It's up to every single individual to decide what is right. I don't know whether there are any other people who might be victims. Under his hand, I don't expect you to come forward and say anything. This is my choice. And the only thing I'm doing is honouring my own choices. To upfront and call him out. If you want to hear snippets of what exactly happened, you can find it in verse 2 of Not All That Glitters Is Gold. That was penned and written by my friend. That is now an anthem for survivors. Let's not talk about me too. Let's just talk about this very horrible concept of how many people are perps in disguise. Of how many cases I've heard. How many rape tapes survivors have to jump through to seek justice and redress for their own case? Yeah, people are so quick to dismiss. I just say this person dressed slutty, or you know, this person is a certain way, or promiscuous, promiscuous. Sorry. Well, I'm none of that. I'm a straight individual with a 14 years stable relationship with my partner who has supported me throughout this whole thing. That this person, Richie Stevens, has blatantly ignored. This effect of what he has done does not just stop at me. You've created a wave of impact. You've hurt me, but then you've hurt my mother who blames herself for letting me even go to Australia. You've heard my partner. For not calling you out sooner or bashing you. When you first did that to me in Singapore. By kissing me. 
You've had my friend who treated you like a mentor. Who wanted to really grow reggae. The scene in Asia to represent Jamaica proper because she loves Jamaica. The many, many things that you've put on the line, that you've affected the lives of so many of my loved ones. It is also one of the reasons why I'm coming out to say this right now. A simple assault does not only affect the survivor. It never does. I'm not asking you to hold signs or picket rails. I simply want the truth to be known. I simply want my side of the story to be heard. And to come forward and tell you that all the things that he has accused or allegate that we actually did, your Chinese girls wanting money, we were this, we were that. Not true. My friend organized the tour. She herself is her own established artist. No need cloud. No cloud needed. I have a life. I'm not some roadie on the road. Not only was I documenting, I was also helping with the administrative stuff. I was very much a part of my friend's team. We trusted you. I drew my boundary with you by calling you uncle. Because clearly, uncle means, yes, I acknowledge you're there, but you cannot touch me. I do not love you. I'm in love with my partner. And we've actually kept in contact the whole time throughout the tour. All the way until the incident happened and that's when I disappeared and he knew something was up. You have a family. Yet, without a blink of an eye, you can still do that to me. You have a daughter. For who says, just because you're a family man means you're a saint. These are just the things that I want people to think about. Again, these are all facts. Then you can look up. And I'm addressing just the other concerns that I've heard. The truth will be known. And in one way or another, You can't run from the truth. Thank you, everybody.